In this demonstration today, I'd like to show you an exciting feature uh, that's in the AWR design environment. This feature is the extract feature. And essentially what extract does is create a schematic driven EM analysis. So let's, uh, let's look at it right here in this example. This example, uh, the extract example is found in the AWR examples. So if you have a, uh, an evaluation copy of AWR or you uh, actually own microwave office or um, analog office, you can run this example straight away. Um, what I'm going to start off by doing is disabling this extract block here, which controls the extraction. And I'm going to uh, simulate the design now. And we can see in terms of the S parameter analysis that uh, the extract uh, schematic and the circuit model schematic, which is identical with the exception of the extract block, give the identical or same results. Now, uh, we're simulating from 40 to 60 gigahertz. So at these frequencies, the MT and the open um, will... Uh, and even the, the two uh, microstrip lines here will couple to each other. There's some uh, inaccuracies in these models. So we'd like to do a, uh, an EM analysis, but we want to do it under control of the uh, uh, schematics so that we can tune and optimize with EM as an integral part of the loop without having to think about creating a separate um, EM document and having to put in ports and de-embedding planes and, and setting all these things up after the fact. We'd like, as we change the structures, in the schematic parametrically to have the generated layout automatically put into an EM document and ports and de-embedding planes and all that put in repeatedly as we've already set it up. So what you're going to see here after I click simulate, let me bring up the layout for our extract block uh, or for our extract schematic. What you're going to see when I hit simulate is a EM document automatically created already with de-embedding planes and you'll see the EM simulation being done and then the answer will uh, pop up in our S parameter analysis when the um, when the results are in. The extract block will take the layout bits for the elements associated with it, put them into the EM structure, run the EM analysis, and then appropriately stitch the uh, multi-port S parameter block from the EM analysis back into the schematic. So if you have very complex schematics with lots of active devices and you want to extract all the metal, you can do that and extract will automatically place in the proper places the S parameter results, even though you may have active devices or lumped element passives uh, interspersed throughout the design uh, you know, into uh, tens or hundreds of ports uh, in an S parameter file. So here we go, we'll hit simulate and you'll see the extract um, block created and the simulation results um, show up. So let's see what the uh, extraction looks like. And you can see here that we have um, our de-embedding planes and such, and we have our um, uh, ports put in. Now let's see what happens if we go to uh, a tuning mode where we can uh, zoom in on one of these devices. Let's pick this one here and we'll just uh, tune on the length, for example, and we'll bring up our tuning bar. And now we'll see as I change the length, the extract updates, the results run, and we get a new set of results. So let us let me make this uh, change a lot more pronounced instead of just incrementing it by 10. Let's go up to 160 here. And you can see that instantly the uh, layout was updated through the unified data model of the AWR design environment. The extract uh, EM document is automatically updated and the results are run. So here we have a great feature that keeps your whole design synchronized and allows you to actually include EM analysis as a natural part of parametric tuning or even optimization uh, without ever having to leave the um, nice top-down design flow that we find um, from the schematic. If you'd like more information about Extract, again, this is an example that's included in the standard AWR examples, uh, or you can go to your website or contact your AWR sales professional. The AWR website is awrcorp.com.